Hi, I just got done working on an early 2004 6.0 power stroke. The 2003 and early 04, the uh, magic date is supposed to be like September 23rd, 2003. Anything made before that should be um, the 03 style with a variable geometry turbo or the VGT learn. Um, anything after that, after September 23rd, 2003, should go ahead and um, the turbo operation is still controlled off the exhaust back pressure. If your truck's been reflashed um, pretty much since 2005, you will have the newer flash and your turbo operation runs off your mass airflow. So if you have uh, aftermarket air filters or anything else going on with it, your, your turbo you may end up having different errors or having other problems that we can't address here but what I want to show is trucks that are stock and that, that um, the 2003 the 2004 and people want to do um, do their own turbo learn or make sure it's right to get the most out of it then here's a way that we can do it I'll show you first with the uh, Ford level scanner and then also how to verify it and what to do or what I'm looking for on just a, a typical scan gauge or if you don't have anything um, you still don't need it so what I want to show here here we have it to where the VGT learn that's what that acronym is is that it's yes it's okay what it's done it's cycled the turbo um, the veins up and down from 15 to 85 percent those are um, the vein position learned events that's what that acronym is for six times until it's learned how to control it by seeing the difference with the mass airflow and now it knows how to control the computer knows how to control the turbo off the mass airflow so if you don't have any large exhaust leaks um, or air intake leaks or any other issues going on with it then it'll learn and it'll start working and be right one, um, one of the things when it happens we'll watch the VGT we'll watch it go keep on going up and down again six times and and it's the length will vary too, depending on how easily it's learning and all, all the condition of everything. But it's, so it's not a fast cycle, and and I'll demonstrate that in a second. And any time you work on this, like right now, this one has codes in it. So as as you saw here, VGT learns okay. The events it's went through it all. So now I just go in and just an innocent thing as far as clearing the codes. So here I'll go and clear the codes. Let them clear here. Because once the codes are cleared, it's also lost the uh, the VGT learn. If the batteries are weak or ran down, uh, um, anything it'll it'll uh, lose the VGT learn. It has to be relearned, and it only learns it at a warm idle. So your oil temperature has to be up. I think it's like 180 degrees, um, and it also has to be idling for about five minutes. So here now we go back. We just all I did was clear the codes, go back and we monitor it. And we look here, and we can see that VGT learn okay. The answer is no. Learned events two, and here we go. So I'm gonna start it up, and we can start watching as it cycles. You can see it just hit 85 percent. It'll go here for a few. And it'll slowly work itself down to 15%. So you can see the increments that it's going down. And you can actually hear it, the tone difference of the engine as the veins are changed. So, so you can hear it, it um, especially if you had an exhaust leak or anything else. But you can actually hear the, the difference in the sound of the engine as it's learning it. So now what it'll do, it'll it'll go up and down and it'll cycle, it'll it'll go through the cycle six times. If we watched it, we could see um, as it learns it, as it does it. If it's if it's done it six cycles all the way from 15 to 85 percent and it has not learned then it's not going to be able to learn. So you saw there it just hit 85 and now it's learned events, it's flashing three, it goes back and forth. So it, it's it's learning, that's a good thing when it when it actually shows it because it's it's working. 
so we can sit there and watch this six times go up and down and then VGT learn to be okay and it'll become steady now if you have absolutely nothing and you just worked on your own truck disconnect your battery well first drive it get it all warmed up disconnect your bat both batteries um, one or the other it doesn't matter you can disconnect both negatives or both positives you just have to disconnect both of either one either the positive or both negatives whichever and leave it disconnected for say 10 minutes or so let all the capacitors everything drain down and start it up and let it idle for five minutes and it should learn and again you can sit there and usually you can hear it now what I want to do here as this is doing it watch okay there's see there's the fourth time hitting 85 percent and there it goes and as we can see the uh, VGT so I'm going to go ahead and hook up the uh, as it as it uh, gets here and gets ready to finalize I'm going to hook up the uh, scan gauge and also verify it through there because with the scan gauge I don't have the VGT learn PID to, to as my benefit but we can actually by monitoring it we'll see that the um, that the the, uh, the duty cycle of the VGT will become steady and consistent if you don't have any aftermarket exhaust or air filter it's usually in the high 60s low 70s if you do have an aftermarket exhaust because it's trying to um, well actually this one's not trying to achieve the exhaust back pressure but I'll still see them up high up in the more like the 85 percent area at, at an idle and again that's because when they're modified it kind of throws everything off okay I've disconnected the scan gauge and went back to the IDS just again so we can actually see the live data feed and see what what I was trying to say here um, as you notice that did start to go hit the 85 percent again but it had seven learned events so it will continue to try to learn at an idle but for the majority of the time for the most part we are at a, um, a pretty steady 62 63 percent on the VGT duty cycle and it says that it's learned so I guess what we can get from this because because I'm trying to I, I'm learning here too as I talk about it or try to do it I'm trying to actually find ways to help the average person with just a scan gauge and what to do so when people call up and ask me how to do it I can try to answer them intelligently and and hopefully give them true advice so now watching it here we see that the VG and this is a stock truck stock air filter so now watching this truck here VGT is steady learned events okay and it should be good to go thank you